In this video, we're going to go over how to set up your labor rates and choose your crew size in the HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheet by the MEP Academy. All right, this is the labor rate and crew size sheet in your estimating spreadsheet. So you have sheet metal field labor, sheet metal shop, HVAC piping field, HVAC piping shop, and plumbing field and plumbing shop. So basically what you want to do is go and put your wages in here. Right now this is basically along how the union describes their uh, classification of workers, but you could put anything in here and put their wages for straight time, time and a half, and double time. And then when you're bidding a project, you'll just pick your crew size, how many of each you will have. Let me take these all out here. So you can see over here, you have no value. You have nothing as a crew rate. So you come in and say, well, this project's going to have, we're going to do it all on straight time. You're going to have one foreman. Uh, let's say you have two journeymen. And you have... Uh, an apprentice. So you're going to see that you have four, crew size of four, and their total combined hourly rate is 200, so that your crew rate is $50 an hour. And that's what will carry forward on your summary sheet. So if you go to summary, you see that $50 an hour, there it is right there, $50 an hour for the sheet metal field. So it's very basic, but very important that you uh, know what size crew you're going to use and what you pay them. Now, this is your fully burdened rate. So this is the hourly rate plus whatever you use to recover your burden. Your burden being many things. It could be your safety training, uh, foreman trucks, small tools, whatever you put into that burden based on how many hours you believe you're going to work in a year and what your burden cost is and trying to recover that. We'll go into that in another video. But this is the labor rate sheet in the MEP Academy estimating spreadsheet.